Hello everyone, welcome back with Precad basic 3D modeling tutorial for exercise number 38. You can create new drawings and I will change into part designs. Click create body, create sketch and choose top plan. The next I will draw simple sketch with polyline tools. You can click this icon, polylines and I will create stuff from this point to the top. Okay, move again to this point. And the next you can connect in here. Use a vertical constraint to set uh, this line of vertical. And now I will use fillet tools. You can click the seconds. We can fill it at uh, this corner. Set for radius in uh, this uh, arch. You can set into 19. The next I will set horizontal this line objects. And then you can set distance from these points into here. You can set into active two. And you can press escape buttons. You can select this object, move to the top. You can set again distance from this point into here. You can set into 57. And the next distance from this point into here, you can set into 66. Okay. You can select these objects and move into here. You also can set a distance. Okay, from the center point into here, and we can set into 142. This 142, and I will create circle. Start from this point. Set for radius in the circle into 19, and make a vertical constraint from uh, these two point. For distance, you can set okay from this point into here. You can set into 48. Now in here I will use trim command. You can click here trim. I will cut this circle. Cut again this uh, line object. And you can click to select, press delete button. It will be automatically delete. Now in here I will delete this line object. And we create arch from three points. You can click this icon. You can create stuff from this point into here and move in here. Set for reduce in a chart. You can set into 41. You can set verticals okay, in here. This a point into center point in here. The next I will move from this point into here. Okay. In the top here I will delete this constraint. And also, you can set a distance from this point into here. 66 is OK for 66. And then for vertical constraint between these two points, you can set, OK, you can click here. And also in here, it will be set into vertical constraint. And in here, for angular, we can set into active 5 degree. You can use these icons. You can set in here into active 5 degree. And the last in here, we can set 145 degree. OK. The next, we can uh, see in here. OK, this OK. And now at this point, OK. And the last, we can set for length, this line objects into 37. You can press enter. Click close. And then you can use pet tools to convert into 3D. We can extrude length in it, change into 32. You can select this uh, top face and also in the bottom here. Don't forget to press control button to select multiple face. Use a thickness tools, you can click this icon. And we can check for my thickness in word. Join tab, you can set into intersection. For thickness, we can set into nine. Click OK to apply. Select at this face. We create new sketch. OK, in here I will create a circle. But first, you can use a reference edge in here. And we create circles start from this point to the top. Click close, and you can use pet tools. Click uh, reverse. You can set length into 32. OK. 
The next, you can click model tabs, and in here you can see we have pet tools and sketch. You can unhide the sketch and use pet tools again. We can extrude with the length seven. Click OK. Okay. Now you can select at this face. We create a circle. Okay, you can click here, create new sketch, and I will use a reference edge at this edge. And next, we create circle in here. You can set for radius the circle into 34 and click close. Use a packet tools to create hole. Click here, packet tools. And we can set length 20. Click OK. Select at this space. And we can use uh, hole tools. You can click these icons to create hole. For dimensions, in here you can get set into 60 for diameter. And you can click OK. So it will be automatically create holes. The other sides in here, I will select again at this face. You can create new sketch. And now I will use a reference edge. You can select at this edge. Also at this point. And then so we draw rectangle objects start from this point into here. The next I will delete this constraint. Okay, you can click and delete. Click again, delete. You can use uh, these tools to set equal between these two lines. And now I will create angular. Okay, you can click these tools from this point into here. You can set into 110 for angular. You can uh, select again these objects and move into here. The next we can set for length this line objects into nine. Okay. In here we can create circle, start from this point into here. Create again, start from this point into here. And you can close. Use the tools to convert into 3D. I will click reverse and for length set into 30. Click OK. The next you can select at this face and we create hole. For diameter in here, we can set into 20. You can see it's 20. And for dips, we can set into 35. So it will be automatically create hole. Click OK again. The last, you can select at this face. We create new sketch. Use a reference edge at this point. And then I will draw polyline, start from this point into here. Okay, move into this point, and you can connect again in here. Now I will use this vertical constraints, and also this constraint between these two objects. Click close. You can use a uh, packet tools to cut uh, these objects. I will set length into 25. Click OK. The last, you can select these objects, and you can see in the model in here. We can change for refines into true. Select at this edge. You can fillet, set into two for radius, and click it. We select again the other edge in here. Okay, at this point. In here. The next you can orbit. Okay, we can set in this uh, edge. Okay, at, at this point. Orbit again. And you can click in here. The next at uh, this edge. And the last in here. Click it again. So it will be automatically apply. Fillet with radius 2 in a corner. Click OK. Now we already create simple 3D models for exercise number 38 with the FreeCAD software. And if you have any question about this tutorial, you can comment below this video.